Hi guys. So let's look at this question here. Again, a very good question. A very mistake prone question actually. Okay, it says that a triangle is formed by the x-axis, the y-axis and a line passing through the point 5 comma 5. If the coordinates of all the vertices of the triangle are integers, then find the maximum possible area of the triangle. Okay. So let's see for example, we have uh, got, um, let me draw here, this is x-axis. So this is y-axis, this is x-axis. Okay. And there's a line here, which passes through 5 comma 5. Okay, this passes through 5 comma 5. Somewhere here. Okay. Now, I don't know this coordinate, let's put, that, uh, put it at 0 and A. And we don't know this coordinate, I'll put it as B and B0. Okay. So basically, uh, by intercept form, if uh, all of you should know this intercept form, right? So what does this intercept form say is that if a line is pa passing through these two points in y axis and x axis, 0 comma a and b comma 0, the intercept form tells that x by b, that is x axis by b hai, plus y by a is equal to 1. That is the intercept form, right? Now, this, this is what this is what what does this intercept form basically denotes? So this denotes the equation of this line. This is the equation of this line. Okay, this line, this line here, this blue line, right? So basically, now I see that five comma five satisfies this. So what I can write here? So I can write here five by a plus five by b is equal to one. Okay. Now, at this point of time, a lot of people blindly uh, solve this equation actually. Okay. So there's nothing wrong in that, right? But we can have, we can uh, actually learn something from this. So I know that it's given that the vertices of triangles are integers. That means basically I know that A and B, I know that A and B are integers. Okay. Sorry. So I know that here A and B are integers. So if A and B are integers uh, and I know that 5 by a plus 5 by b equal to 1 so I can think of two method right so I basically I'll tell you both the methods the normal one also and the kind of common sense approach right so let's try to put some common sense approach here that is basically we'll try to put uh, some values and try to find out how to solve this okay so what I can say that now my equation is 5 by a plus 5 by b equal to 1 so obviously understand this that this I I should start thinking anywhere if a should be greater than one, right? So obviously, right? So sorry, a should be greater than five because this is where this value is one. So five by a plus five by b is equal to one. So if you're trying to put some uh, values here, it is a bit of hit and trial if I want to do here. Okay. So how I should start thinking is let's try to think that a should be greater than five, obviously, right? Because if a will be equal to five, what will happen if a equal to five? If a will be equal to 5, then 5 by 5 plus that is 5 by b is equal to 1. So 5 by 5 is already 1, right? So 5 by b should be 0. And 5 by 5 by b cannot be 0 for any integer value of b, right? So there should be some definite integer values. So I cannot put 5 by b as 0. So this case is not possible. Okay, so this case is not possible, right? That means I should start thinking from a more than 5. Obviously, a cannot be less than 5 also because if a is less than 5, let's say a equal to 4. So what will happen in that case? 5 by 4 plus 5 by b is equal to 1. What is 5 by 4? 1.25. So 1.25 plus something can never be equal to 1. Okay. So that means uh, the values a less than 5 or less than uh, or equal to 5 are not at all possible, right? So let's try to think in the other direction now. Okay. So what we'll try to, uh, okay, let me rub this. So what I can think now is that a should be greater than five, right? So let's try to put some values here. So the first thing that can come in my mind is that let's try to keep this as equal. Okay. So a lot of people can think that I can make it like half plus half, I can make it one, right? So I can make it like half plus half is equal to one. So for that, I can simply put a is equal to uh, b is equal to 10 I can put right okay obviously if you put a equal to b equal to 10 so it will satisfy so in what is the area in that case so if, if you calculate the area of triangle in that case so area of triangle will be equal to 
half into 10 into 10 that is equal to 50 but the thing is that is 50 the maximum area because i want the maximum area so i will just try to check the value so basically i have moved to 10 and 10 so a and b i put very close right let's try to put a and b far apart okay so basically the fund of inequality uh, we check at the closer values one we check at the farther values right hey na? so if i try to check at the further values so basically i know that a is more than five so the least value I can take is A as 6. I cannot take more than that, right? Or less than that. So A, because A is more than 5, so minimum I can take A is 6. If I take A is equal to 6, that will be 5 by 6. Okay. Now 5 by 6 plus something, this should be equal to 1. So it should be basically what it should be. 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6 should be equal to 1. Right? 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6 should be equal to 1. To make it 1 by 6, but we already have a 5 here. That means to make it 1 by 6, should, this should be 5 by 30. Okay. This is also satisfied. 5 by 6 plus 5 by 30 equal to 1 satisfies, right? That means what I, can, what I can think is, okay, so I got that, okay, that A is equal to 6 and B equal to 30 also satisfies. What is the area in that case? So area of triangle is half into base into height. That is half into 6 into 30. That will be equal to 90. So I see that obviously then 50 is not the answer, right? So 90 could be the answer. You can think of and if, if you check at some other values so you'll see that no i cannot take any other because i need i need to a five here for sure okay so i, I cannot think of any other values where this value will be basically adding to one right so this value should be actually equal to you can just check at a couple of values right you can tell me that sir i can take uh, a kind of a any uh, i can take a as uh, any other number like uh, eight or something like that right so if you try to think also no you just try to think right so can you say sir can you take a equal to eight if you take five by eight so now here you need a three by eight to make it equal to one now five by b you can never make it three by eight right because i need a five year for sure so once i need a five year so i cannot make it three by eight I cannot make it 3 by 8, right? You can think at one time that 5 into 3 is 15. So can I make it 15 by and 3 into 5 is 15. So 15 by 40 can I make. But if I make it 15 by 40, right? This my equation changes. 5, this A and B should be in this area. So once I, once I put 5 here, so that means this value should, be, should give me in this area. That means if I put 5 by 8, now I cannot put a 5 here because if I put a 5 here, so then they divide 15 by divide by 3 is 5 and here it should be 40 by 3 so this is not an integer right but to make it 15 by 40 it's not an integer is equal to 1 so this is not an integer here okay that's a problem in this case right so that's why i cannot take any other values if you try to put any other values also you see that a and b both will not come as integers okay so because you need a 5 and 5 so this is the only possibility where a equal to 6 and b equal to 30 will solve this right so this is one thing i can think in the exam scenario so in the exam scenario i should be basically solving like this okay put some common sense bit of written trial check at two three values and should you should get that pattern right okay now okay so but also we should know the full funda how to solve such kind of question okay let's solve this guys okay see so basically uh method two here i'll just see so the equation which i got was 5 by a plus 5 by b is equal to 1 right so i can just solve this a bit uh, 5 by a plus 5 by b equal to 1 so i can say okay uh, 5b plus 5a upon a b is equal to 1 that is 5b plus 5a uh, this ab will come here this becomes equal to ab minus ab is equal to zero okay so 5b plus 5a minus ab is zero i can factorize this okay we have read this earlier also this kind of factorization so basically i can just uh, 5b i can uh, take it as like 5b can leave here and here from here i can take a common if you take a common it becomes 5 minus b now because i have a i need to factorize this kind of equation i need a 5 minus b here also so if I need a 5 minus b here also, we already have a 5, right? And what I need here, I need some 5 minus b. 5b already we have, right? And we need some 5 minus b here also. So to make it 5 minus b, what I can do? 5 into 5, 25. 25, I can subtract both sides, right? So what I'm trying to say is 5b is here. What I'll, I'll subtract 25 here, okay? Now, 
प्लस ए इंटू फाइव माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू अगेन जीरो एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव बिकॉज बोथ साइड एज अट्रैक्टेड ट्वेंटी फाइव वाई बिकॉज नाउ दिस दिस टर्म विल गिव मी फाइव माइनस बी नो बिकॉज इज फाइव बी माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव इफ आई टेक फाइव कॉमन फ्रॉम हियर सो इफ आई टेक फाइव कॉमन फ्रॉम हियर आई एल बी गेटिंग बी माइनस फाइव प्लस ए इंटू फाइव माइनस बी ओके एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव सो ना आई कैन टेक आई कैन जस्ट रिवर्स साइन हियर फाइव इंटू बी माइनस फाइव एंड जस्ट टेक माइनस साइन आउट हियर सो माइनस ए इंटू बी माइनस फाइव राइट दिस फाइव माइनस बी इफ आई टेक माइनस साइन आउट साइड इट बी माइनस फाइव इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव ना वट आई बी गेटिंग आई एल बी गेटिंग बी माइनस फाइव इंटू फाइव माइनस ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव ना वॉट आई कैन गेट हियर अगेन uh 5 now i can just write like this so basically uh 5 minus a into now this b minus 5 i can take outside minus sign again it becomes 5 minus b and that is equal to minus 25 so now this minus minus will get cancelled so finally i got 5 minus a into 5 minus b equal to 25 This is how you factorize this. So you should know how to factorize this, right? Okay, but but we we also have a shortcut here. We I will study this in the uh, simple equation chapter, right? There's a shortcut here, or uh, to solve this such kind of equation directly. If you remember, the shortcut was basically a by x plus b by y is equal to one by c. You can directly write like x minus a c into y minus b c is equal to ए बी सी स्क्वायर दैट थिंग एंड दैट लाइक इन यूज यूर सो ए माइनस फाइव सो वी कैन जस्ट बिकॉज दिस सेम थिंग राइट आई कैन जस्ट टर्न इट ऑन आई कैन जस्ट लाइक रिवर्स इट ओके सो आई कैन जस्ट राइट ए माइनस फाइव इंटू बी माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सेम थिंग राइट बिकॉज बोथ माइनस माइनस विल गेट अगेन प्लस साइन ओके सो ए माइनस फाइव इंटू बी माइनस फाइव इज ट्वेंटी फाइव राइट सो वॉट विल हैपन नाउ देखो सो ए माइनस फाइव इंटू बी माइनस फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वही देखो आ गया ना ए माइनस फाइव इंटू वन माई बी माइनस फाइव इंटू वन इज इक्वल टू ए बी सी स्क्वेयर सो वॉट यू कैन राइट हियर इज ए माइनस फाइव इंटू वन इंटू बी माइनस फाइव इंटू वन इज इक्वल टू ए बी सी स्क्वेयर दैट इज ए बी सी स्क्वायर इज बेसिकली ए बी सी स्क्वेयर सो फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू वन स्क्वायर है ना जैसे डायरेक्ट वे राइटिंग तो यही आ जाएगा वापस से आपका a माइनस फाइव इंटू बी माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव है ना यहाँ पे राइट तो ये डायरेक्ट तरीका भी है ओके तो देखो अभी ना आई नो दैट आई नो दैट a एंड b हैज टू बी इंटेजर्स राइट सो a एंड b को इंटेजर होना पड़ेगा मुझे ये मुझे पता है सो ना वट आई कैन डू हियर इज देखो इफ a एंड b हैज टू बी इंटेजर तो सेटिस्फाई क्या करेगा इनको so it only two values right it could be like वन into ट्वेंटी फाइव हो सकता है और या तो फाइव इंटू फाइव हो सकता है तभी ना ओके इफ इट इज वन इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव सो इन दैट केस वॉट आई एल बी गेटिंग मेरे को यहाँ पर क्या मिलेगा ए माइनस फाइव इज वन सो ए विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स बी माइनस फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव सो बी इज थर्टी ओके एंड यहाँ पर क्या मिलेगा ए माइनस फाइव इज फाइव सो ए इक्वल टू टेन बी माइनस फाइव इज फाइव सो बी इक्वल टू टेन दो केस मिला राइट सो ओनली टू केसेज आई नीड टू चेक ईयर वही वाला वही चेक कर लेंगे वी जस्ट हमने बनाया था ना ये वाला ओके दिस इक्वेशन वी मेड हियर राइट दिस इज वाई एक्सेस एक्स एक्सेस अ लाइन पासिंग थ्रू दिस इज बी कॉमा जीरो दिस इज जीरो कॉमा ए है ना एंड पासिंग थ्रू फाइव कॉमा फाइव तो ये कब मैक्सिम होगा सो इन द फर्स्ट केस वट इज द एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल हाफ इंटू बेस इंटू हाइट दैट इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी सो नाइंटी स्क्वायर यूनिट्स इज द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल इन द फर्स्ट केस इन द सेकेंड केस वट इज द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए इज टेन बी इज टेन सो एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल इज हाफ इंटू टेन इंटू टेन दैट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी ओके सो बेसिकली नाइंटी इज द मैक्सिम एरिया सो नाइंटी इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सही हो बोलो फिर गॉड डिस राइट सो दोनों ही काफ़ी अच्छा फंडा था इस डायरेक्टली भी सोचना चाहिए ऐसे क्वेश्चन में डायरेक्टली पुट वैल्यूज अगर वो स्ट्राइक नहीं करे सो इट शुड है प्रॉपर मेथड टू सॉल्व सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो ठीक है सही हो बोलो फिर गॉड डिस गाइज थैंक यू सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो हाई गाइज 
uh, also good do give this uh, mega combat it is happening on 21st of august from uh, 12 pm okay so it's a gamified kind of test where you get questions for per uh, there is there's a cut off for per question mark basically it's a good way to test your individual chapters uh, weakness and strength right if, for example if you know that there is a question from profit and loss okay and you get time to solve around 110 second to solve that question so can you solve this profit and loss question 110 second that's a good one right so sometimes you need to basically figure out these things so that's why we have kept a per question cut off based timing in this kind of test so it is per question uh, cut off timing is there okay so unlike mocks where you can solve some random 10 question in 40 minutes here for per question you get some 110 question 90 second so 110 seconds or 90 seconds or 80 seconds or 120 seconds right that is basically set by us we see we feel that how is the difficulty level of the paper and accordingly we basically put those uh, timers okay in a large as well as quant so do give this test test guys also it is basically scholar scholarship test test so lot of uh, students uh, last year have gained a uh, very uh, basically a lot of scholarship they got and they enrolled in an academy in last 3 4 months they studied very exhaustively and they saw a lot of questions a lot of practice was going on in the last 3 4 months right this is basically you can use this uh, test as to your advantage also okay now that is scholarship test right you can see rank 1 2 3 this is scholarship 70% and 50% and 30% 25% okay so do give this test uh, can use this uh, enrollment code here ravi roda it is absolutely free of cost okay at ravi roda code you can use everywhere on an academy and also uh, i'll put the enrollment link in description okay so you can use there you can enroll there okay so thank you see you guys